go ahead and get started here. Uh, thank you again. Um, just a short introduction to our, our uh, presentation today. I just want to kind of clarify that many, many uh, manure handling and storage practices, you know, it's dependent upon various variables, whether you're dealing with liquid or solid, uh, and, and methods that which you use to select to handle manure can depend on you know, equipment and facilities, as well as the labor and how, how much labor you have available. Um, in these considerations, we also want to look at the safety uh, to protect operators, haulers, and those that might be bystanders here in this, uh, with, with that are around manure storage as, and, and handling equipment. And so today, we want to highlight, let me see if this works now. Okay, we want to highlight uh, some several key considerations in light of emerging issues in the field, as we see in the 2016 case where the Wisconsin uh, individual uh, had, a, where had a fatality as well as animals that were also that were overcome by hydrogen sulfide, and particularly in this uh, feedlot in, uh, in, instance. So for our uh, objectives today, I'd like to make sure that when we get, come away from this webinar, we discuss the trends in manure storage as well as impacts on toxic gas generation, identify those work practices associated with uh, manure handling and storage, rec recognizing those confined spaces that are associated with manure handling, and practice procedures to, to promote worker health and safety. So as we look at the presentation outline, what we'll cover is manure, gas, and exposure limits, common themes associated with manure gas deaths, and safety considerations, and ventilation considerations. 